Hey y'all. Me and feeding fish. I know it's dark. I'm going down the hallway. I'm about to go in here and feed my other fish. It's a little gloomy outside. I must be by the rain. It's definitely gloomy. It looks like it's about to rain. It's dark. Oh yeah, it's gonna rain. It's fixing to rain, which is fine with me. <laughs> so, I gotta cook some dinner. I need to feed this other fish in here. He's doing really, really good. The fish that was left by himself. Glad that he's doing real good. It's getting better every day. He's still kicking. So, I don't really know what I want to, what I want to cook. But I did have a uh, shepherd's pie in mind. I don't know if I still want to do chicken pie or not. But then I was thinking about doing some barbecue chicken. And then at the same time, I was thinking to do barbecue chicken. I was thinking to do um, uh, shredded barbecue chicken sandwiches. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see what I can what kind of chicken I got in this freezer because I got a plan. I got a plan for myself. And, um, because I get tired of cooking all the time. And I know some of y'all do too. I know y'all get tired of cooking all the time. And so I got a plan. But I kind of don't know if I want to mention that plan in this video or just do it. But I got a plan. So, I'm going to look up here in this freezer and see what I got for one that I could take out because I need to. I'm, I'm putting myself on the. For one, okay, part of the plan is I'm putting myself on a strict budget now. Christmas over, Thanksgiving over, New Year's over. Me and my husband, we know, took us a vacation um, just a couple days ago. So now I'm on a strict budget. I'm putting myself on a strict budget because now it's time to save some money. We done enjoyed ourselves. We done had a good time. Now it's time to get some of this money back. So, um, yeah. So, Eating out like we was and spending money like we was, all that is coming to a complete halt. Like, I don't care what you want. If you ain't got it, you dang sure ain't gonna get it. If it ain't necessary right now, then it can wait till a better time. So, I'm gonna be cooking up these uh, groceries in my freezer. I'm cooking up this food. So, um, I got some, look at these chicken bones, this is three. Okay, so I got some stew pork. I got some chicken legs. I got some chicken legs too. Stew pork. Um, pork roast meat. Definitely both of these stew ports so that I could do something with them. And I'm taking this stuff in the house. We about to get this in the freezer. <clears throat> we about to clean this freezer out. So and, and cook up some food. And 
cook up some food. So this here is ham, 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 ham. Maybe I could do like some ham and potatoes and some kind of something with it. All that right there ain't nothing but ham. All that is just ham. So I'm guessing that I probably just got ham and chicken up here. Put that on that side. So I'll be using this ham here before, and then this here is some chicken bags. I don't know what I want to do with chicken bags yet. So I'm going to let that just stay down. But this here is chicken bags. All We're going to take our two packs of the chicken legs and I'm going to put this here. Pork stew. I'm going to take this on in the house too. So now I know what's out here in this freezer. <clears throat> I ain't going to use all my chicken legs because, you know, just in case I fry or something like that. I'll have me some chicken legs to fry. I have this on fry. Okay. I'm going to sit this down for a second. I'm going to close my dough. And So, now I'm going to see what I got over here in this freezer and what I got right here as far as potatoes go because now, okay, so we got some potatoes. We know we got to do something with some potatoes in it. And... I pretty much know the. Let me see if what kind of cream or something I have over here. So I got cream of chicken. Okay, so I do have cream of chicken. All right. So, and like I was saying, I was thinking about making some. Okay, so I got some chicken thighs here. Got chicken thighs, chicken thighs. <clears throat> chicken thighs. Yeah, it's time to use these groceries, y'all. Got a little just sit up in this freezer. It's time to get with it. I don't know. Not cooked, not cooked, not cooked long enough. So it's time to get to it. So one thing I was thinking to do is like I got some ham. And I don't know if I want to do like some like a ham and potatoes something. Or um I don't know. It's something I want to do with the ham. I gotta figure out what I want to do with the ham. So I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of ham that I want to do something with. That I don't know what I want to do with it. So then I 
I got. Okay, so I think I want to do some curry chicken. I don't know. I like curry, y'all. I just like me some curry. Then you can make that, take that curry, put it over you some rice. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I did curry chicken while I was on curry. I did this curry jerk chicken while I was on um, the trip. And uh, when I tell y'all it was so good, that chicken was good. chicken was good so I got me two chickens here I'm not sure if I want to do it with these chickens or do it with some chicken legs or uh, how I want to do it but um, today Today, I don't really even see no, uh, okay, so I could do a shepherd's pie. We got some potatoes for the shepherd pie. I got a pack of ground chicken. I got a pack of ground beef. I could just put both those together. Make the shepherd pie, and I like to add sausage to these chicken wings too. Okay, so we got chicken wings, we got chicken thighs. Okay, so I want to take these chicken thighs out because with these chicken thighs, I want to do some barbecue chicken. And I want to do some um, shredded barbecue chicken. So, and I'm not sure if I want to add some chicken legs to that to do the, yeah. I might do the shredded barbecue. barbecue. Well, I can either do it with the legs or the thighs. <clears throat> I have more deboning to do if I do it with the thighs. Breast ain't my, ain't my go to. Mm -mm. I know somebody's like, why you want to use chicken breast? First, I ain't got it in my deep freezer. And second, we using what we got. So, we got some more chicken thighs here. chicken thighs. I'm going to use enough of them if I'm going to do that shredded chicken. Okay. So. Yeah. That's what I got. Alright. So. Y'all probably like, what is going on here? What is this girl doing? So I mentioned something to you that should have gave you an idea of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> tired of cooking all the time so I'm thinking to make some freezer meals cook up some different stuff put it in the bag whenever I want it I could pull it out I already have a meal maybe make a side or something like that some rice whatever to go with it the meat is already cooked and it ain't got to be in my kitchen standing over the stove doing a lot of cooking so that's what I'm about to do I'm about to make some freezing meals um Christmas I made I 
That chili was busting, y'all. Was delicious, delicious. So, <clears throat> I want to make us another chili. I want to make another chili. I only got, looks like I only had uh, <clears throat> one pack of um chicken, one pack of ground beef. I could add some sausage to it, which is what I like to do. I said I was going to make shepherd's pie tonight, but... meals that's gonna last you know and yeah so i got all these chicken pies so i'm gonna clean chicken or what i'm gonna do with that Ooh. i'm gonna clean all these chicken pies so it's only probably like four pieces to a pack um so I know I'll be baking all that chicken. And like I said, I'm gonna do some barbecue chicken. I'm gonna do some barbecue pulled chicken. And then, so that'll be all one batch of baked chicken. Then that way I split it up. Some of it be baked left whole. Some of it be um, shredded. So, okay, so that's plan for that. So then I wanted to do that curry jerk chicken that I did. So I think I'm gonna do that with these chickens here again. And you know how I cook them and I split them in half. So I think I'm gonna do that with these chicken here. Those will be baked in the oven as well. And that's gonna help eliminate a lot of fried food. My husband, he loves fried food. And I don't mind cooking it because it be quick. But I do get tired of fried food. Got some pork chops here. Now this is probably gonna be done on. Then I could just take this and make my chili. I'm going to make some pork chops for them. Because y'all know pork chops is quick. So I'll make some pork chops and something for them. Yeah. Then I'll do my chili with this. So. I got the beans. I got some tomatoes. We're going to add some uh, chili beans to it. We're going to add. We're going to add. I really don't like a whole heap of beans in my chili, but we're going to add up some beans in that chili because we're going to stretch that as far as I can stretch it so that I can, uh, and I may even go and get me one more pack of this hill ground chicken so I can make two chili meals with that. Three chili meals. Trying to pull out all the oh this some lasagna soup here. Shoot. So I'm gonna take this lasagna soup out because we can have this. Yep. We can have this lasagna soup here. We can have this lasagna soup with us a piece of fried pork chop for dinner. 
And I got another lasagna soup right here. Okay, yeah. So I don't have another um chicken or beef. That's all I got. So, but that's the start. Then I add some sausage to it. So this going in the refrigerator. That's gonna get cooked. Put that back in the freezer. Put this back in the freezer. So, so far, I'm going to be doing barbecue chicken, curry chicken, um, I'm going to do a stew pork that's going to have, um, like potatoes and, um, I'm gonna do a stew with this, some kind of stew. Hook it up. So we're gonna have this here too. Then I got these chicken legs over here. Um, I may have to do the barbecue on the chicken legs <clears throat> and then just do my chicken thighs for my, you know what? Another thing I had wanted to make was some enchiladas so yeah some enchiladas i want to make some of those some corn enchiladas not the tortilla not the uh, flour i want to do some corn enchiladas i asked my husband if he likes enchiladas and um he said yeah he'll eat them So, with that being said, I wanted to do some enchiladas, and since I got that chicken, uh, that chicken breast, okay, the chicken thigh, some chicken thighs, I can use some of this chicken for enchiladas. So, so far, I got to start. I don't want to overwhelm myself with a whole lot of cooking. A whole lot of freezer prep cooking at one time. Because it's only just me. And I really don't have to overwhelm myself like that. So, I'm just going to let these up. I'm not going to start it today. I'm going to start it. Um, maybe, uh... Thursday. What's the name? Wednesday. I might start a Wednesday. <clears throat> yeah. Start the, the cooking Wednesday. That way I'll have the whole, whole little day and I can prep up some stuff um, tomorrow. Like cut my onions and bell peppers and celery and if I use cut up celery um season some stuff you know that way um uh, or clean the meats or something like that and season them or however but that way I don't be doing everything all at once and it just overwhelms me so I got this chicken. I'm gonna just let it throw out in the refrigerator. And that's gonna help keep me from in the kitchen so much, y'all. And so, um, 
Yeah, and I'm gonna be doing that going through my freezer. I gotta go through this whole deep freezer and I'm gonna be making up some meals with this food. I got a lot of chicken in there, so <laughs> I gotta find some chicken recipes. Um, I'm gonna be using what I have all the way, using what I have, and then and I'm gonna be trying to make different stuff and we're gonna eat up what I make and then we can move on to grocery shopping. But I got to cook this food. I got to cook this food. And I need to save some money. So, this is what I'm doing, y'all. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing. But I think I am going to go to the store and buy one more pack of it. Um, Buy one more pack of uh um ground chicken. That way I have one. maybe one or two more packs of ground chicken. That way I have more than enough for when I make my chili. So because I want I got a lot of things in mind that I want to make, but <clears throat> I even wanted to do tacos too. But baby, we'll be taking some of this chicken and um doing tacos with it. I got chicken wings in there. I may do take the chicken wings out and I can use like the chicken legs, pull the meat off the bone and do like chicken taco meat. Um, uh, and then do the chicken wings for uh, uh, barbecue chicken. I could do that. Cause I prefer, I prefer barbecue chicken wings over, um, yeah, I think I prefer the barbecue chicken wings over the barbecue chicken legs. So, yeah, I think that's what I might do. But, <clears throat> we're going to see. We're going to see. We got to start, though. We got to start. And, we're just going to work this here on out. We're going to work it out. And, instead of boiling all my stuff, Y'all know I'm a flavor type of girl. I'm not going to be boiling all my stuff. Most of my meats is going to be going in the oven. I think I'm going to go get a couple more packs of chicken to go with this. Because I am I am going to do some, um, probably some taco meat with this. Yeah, go get probably like two more packs of chicken. But yeah, so that's what I got plans on doing, y'all. I got plans on doing some freezer meals and... You know, um, cooking up some stuff that way it'll be in the freezer, ready for me whenever I don't feel like cooking. And uh, we can just pour some stuff out and have us a meal ready to go. And that feels so good to have stuff already, you know, prepared and ready to go instead of having to um, find a meal to cook every single night like that gets old i don't care how much you like to cook that 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 uh, it gets old so yeah i'm gonna take out probably like i'm gonna take out three more of these and so i know what i'm gonna do with these i'm gonna just put these in the freezer i ain't even gonna in the freezing house I'm not even gonna um put these in the freezer. I mean the refrigerator. Cause I don't like I said I don't want to overwhelm myself. But <clears throat> I started writing out a plan and my plan was going against um stuff that I had in my freezer already. So I'm I don't wanna I don't wanna have to go and buy nothing that I don't have unless it's like um I don't really have want to go and buy nothing no meats or nothing like that I'll go and get this ground chicken but that's all I'm going to get but I don't want um I'm gonna put these over here in this freezer I know what I'm gonna do with them I got me to start and then this will be the next round of stuff that I do that way I'm gonna be doing no cooking all day like I got a bunch of chill in the cook or something, you know. So yeah. Um, but yeah, 
I uh I just if I, if anything that I buy, I just want to have to buy potatoes or carrots, vegetables, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that I know that I don't have. I'd rather buy stuff like that than have to go and buy meats and stuff like that. I'd rather I will buy my onions and bell peppers and you know stuff like that. But as far as everything else goes, I'm using what I got. I'm using what I got. Yep, yep, yep. So. Y'all stay tuned for these videos that's going to be coming up. And I'll check back in with y'all later on. Um, when I get ready to cook dinner. I'm just throwing out my pork chop right now. And I'll come cooking with y'all. So y'all hold tight. Alright y'all, I'm back. So, I changed my mind about the, um, the lasagna soup and the... Um, the pork chop. I am still going to do the pork chop though. But I decided that that chicken that I did with that curry powder and that jerk seasoning was good. I, I you know, I can't hold you on that. I can't hold you on that. It was good. <clears throat> so I wanted some more of it. That's like a flavor that I hardly ever get a chance to make. And so, I think I'm on that little kick now. So, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to fry the pork chop. I'm going to pan sear them, put some potatoes, onions, and all that, and then make a side side vegetable. And that's going to be dinner. But I decided that I need to go ahead on the cook because I didn't know that we were supposed to be getting bad weather today. And I told y'all earlier that it looked like it was going to rain, but I didn't know that the rain was leading up to a tornado watch we was up under. So, I'm finna cook dinner real quick. And, um, so we'll have us some food to eat just in case anything goes down and I can't cook. So, let's go ahead on and do that and, uh, get this here started. All right. All right, y'all. So, first off, I'm just about to cut up some onion. I'm gonna just do half an onion. And I'm gonna cut it up. And I'm gonna cut it up and put it right here in the bowl with the pork chop. Okay, so now we got the season of the pork chop. So in here, I'm going to add <clears throat> some jerk seasoning. Add some of that. Season both sides of the meat with it. real good jerk seasoning jerk seasoning then I'm going to add curry powder and this is going to be some good flavor on those potatoes I like the little spice that this gives and all um, So, we got that. Okay. So, then I'm going to add some seasoning salt. Seasoning. 
season it real good. Okay. And then we're going to put some onion garlic powder on her. Get my season real good. Okay, then I'm gonna add a little black pepper, just a little bit. These are gonna be good, y'all. If y'all like curry, you should give it a try. Okay, so now. <clears throat> I think I am going to cut up the whole onion. I think I am going to cut up the whole onion because I got to eat potatoes too. So I'm just going to peel the potatoes. And then we're going to cut these up kind of on the big side. That way you can scoop out some potatoes. The potatoes, I'm thinking it's going to be like the starch for this dish. Instead of me having to make some rice, we're just going to use the potatoes for the starch. <clears throat> so, going to cut those there on up like so and it's okay to leave a little skin let's show my catch that TV in the background Okay. I'm about done. I think I'm gonna do only three potatoes. That's probably all I need. All right. So now I'm just going to cut these two, sort of kind of on the big side like that. Just some nice chunks. And we're going to toss that right on in with that meat over there. About to move on to the cooking process. All right, so I'm gonna put me some butter in my skillet.
Okay. So you think it's half? Yeah, I know. Oh, no. That's the photo. Yeah. There's onions. 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 You only got two pieces of meat a piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you said, cook small portions. So, I'm going to fry this up. I don't know together. And I'm going to rinse that bowl out because I'm going to need a little water, so I'm going to rinse that out. I'm going to sprinkle a tad bit more. Huh? Yeah, a lot more. It's nice and nice. Sprinkle a tad bit more curry on top of these potatoes. Make sure they got enough. And jerk season. Just to make sure it's enough. Right there, right there. Yeah. So we just gonna cook and brown this on up. And I'm gonna add some water to it because I want it to create like a sauce. On it. Smells so good, y'all. That jerk seasoning. Ooh. Yeah, this be so good. That seasoning together. That curry and that jerk. Mm -mm -mm. So we're gonna let that brown, then I'll come back and show y'all what it look like. So I'm going to turn this thing over. One thing I want these pork chops to do is brown. Get some browning on it. Then we're going to add some water to the pan. Okay, so I have another idea for this. I'm going to finish cooking these, but I'm going to take these out for right now. And we're going to let these potatoes and onion cook together and pretty much get them a little bit more tender. But as I'm cooking this, I'm smelling something, right? I'm smelling something. I smell the sweetness, which I know it comes from the jerk. So like I said, the sweetness, I was smelling the sweetness, and I know it's coming from the jerk seasoning, right? So then I decided, hmm, go for it, Tiana. Go for it. Add the sweetness. So I got me some apples. And I'm going to add apples to this. And if y'all don't know, apples and pork as well together so I was like I want to put some put some of that I smell up in there you know <clears throat> so we're going to add some apples to it and I'm going to cut them kind of on the same size as the potatoes because the apples is a lot tender than uh, potatoes and I don't want the, the apples to cook down too, too much. So, 
just want to add apples to it. So I peeled the apples. I got some red apples. And I peeled the apples. And now I'm just cutting them up and adding them right on in here. And I know it's going to be good. I know it is. You can smell the, the, uh, like the allspice. You know, you can smell the allspice, allspice or something that's in it. So why not go ahead on and add that fruit so it can pick up those flavors. Maybe even help enhance those flavors. So, we add the apple. I've done the apples and pork together, but not with the curry. Or just. So, now, like I said, I'm going to rinse the bowl out and add those. Juice this right on in there. And we're going to cook these um, potatoes until they tender, along with the apples. That's gonna be good, y'all. All right, so to this, um, we're gonna add a little bit more seasonings. And I'm gonna add some salt. For those potatoes. And just a tad bit of chicken bouillon. <clears throat> so we're going to mix that down up. See that little gravy that it's making in the bottom of the pan from that meat browning and them seasonings and all of that. So now I'm just going to add <clears throat> just a tad bit more water to this. Just a tad. Just to let them steam through. And create more of a sauce. That we'll have something, some sauce to put on this meat and just slide these potatoes around in. And I will take my pork chops and put them back on top, but I'm going to do that when it's about done because I don't want my pork chop to dry out. I want them to keep their steamed, uh, they sauteed taste. Uh -huh. Keep their sauteed taste and then I'll let them finish cooking, lay them on top and let them finish cooking. Maybe let's just add a little bit more butter to this too. For those potatoes. And now I'm going to just put a lid on this.
and let it finish cooking. Hopefully I created something good. All right, so a vegetable on the side is gonna be some string beans. Take some bacon fat, put it in there. Get my string beans. And we're gonna get some seasoning in here. <clears throat> Add a little bit of tonic. Some chicken bouillon. A little garlic. Get that broth for taste. Make sure it's seasoned. Use oh some more seasoning. Oh, they definitely use some more seasoning. Them apples smelling good over there. We're gonna let those do their thing. Let me check these potatoes over here and see if they um getting fork tender. Look at that sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that sauce. Just what I want. The apple smells so good in this. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna be nice to have that savory and that little bite of sweet together. They're getting there. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna some of them a little down more than the other. So now, since they bought down, we're just gonna take our pork chops 
and get them right down in the sauce. Roll it over in it. Just like that. Get the lid back on the side, on top of it. And now we're gonna let that pork chop finish off and the potatoes finish cooking through and we'll be done. Alrighty y'all, so. This here is the food, and it's done. It's been sitting for a few little minutes. So I'm about to fix me and my husband's plate so I can wash up the dishes and be through. It's after 7 o'clock. I don't know what time the storm supposed to be coming in. Alright, so, like I was saying, get our plates fixed. So it seems like we both be disappearing around here. I wonder if this hole he was trying to tell me he broke. Because I don't see it. So that must be the bowl he was trying to tell me he broke at work. Bang! Got to be. Because I don't see his bowl. And I was about to get him another bowl. He going to tell me I don't need no bowl. So come to find out that is the bowl that he broke. I ain't know nothing about the bowl was broken until we was on our little trip and he was telling me about he needed him another bowl, but he was like, using them bowl, that glass bowl that worked it too hot. He need like so I didn't know he was telling me that that was the bowl that he broke. So kind of find out that's the bowl. I was trying to get him another bowl. He wanted me to get him another bowl. Mm -hmm. So, anyhow, this is how the pork chops and the potatoes and apples turned out. Right there. And so, we're going to get that done. Clean it up as well.
if you know me, I steal all bones from pork chops, so it's perfect that it didn't fit in his bone. Turned out to be enough. You can have meat. I want pork chop. I want bone. Just like that right there. And that's that pork chop. With potatoes and apples. And green beans. Right there. So you're gonna have to find out how it tastes in just a minute. I decided to go ahead on and taste it. Get y'all see what it tastes like. get a piece of this pork chop here and a piece of potato mm. there is some oh here go apple that tastes good mm. that tastes good mm-hmm Is it happened to pork? I knew that was gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Mm. Oh yeah, I get that two thumbs up. That's good there, y'all. Mm-hmm. And flavor, mm, the green beans good, too. And flavorful, try. Mm. All right. Let me put that up before I get to eat and eat and try. But that's good. Y'all should give it a try. I think you might like it. I got, me, I got me some new bedroom shoes while I was on my trip, y'all. And these dang on bedroom shoes, they scared the mess out of me. You want, you want to see why? They shedding like crazy. I keep seeing little stuff like this and it ain't nothing but the dang on fur coming off my shoes and the skin me, making me think something on the floor. 
I'm mean, gonna hurt myself behind these bedroom shoes. Fuck it is. <laughs> yeah, this is. That was a good. You want to put it back in your mouth, though. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it was it. good, though. I don't know what that is. That's no potato, whatever it is. That is a potato. No, it ain't. Eat it with the pork. Mm -mm. Both on together. I don't know what that is. Just eat both on together. I <laughs> knew something was right. You gonna talk about like glad part of your video? <laughs> what you what what you what it tasted like? Mm, for, uh, whoa. <laughs> it was just too salty. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, hold on. <laughs> I don't potato salt. He had no took it out his mouth too fast, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's what you were trying to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what it tastes like? Yeah, it's nasty. I don't know what it was. Just taste it with your own. Mm -mm. No, eat it with the pork. Mm -mm. It's apples. Mm -mm. That's what it is. Apples. It's good with the pork. You just tasted mm -hmm. something that texture was different, so you didn't want to try it. He was finna put it back in his mouth, y'all, cause he know it ain't nasty. It's just was the texture. He was like, "Wait a minute." He probably thought it was fat. No, first of all. It will fat. I can deal with it. Cause I like pork anyway. But what? Mm -hmm. What that was, my fool? I know I never had some soft meat. What that was? Mm -hmm. What you got going on? What? Yeah, what you got going on? You got to taste them both together. Mm -hmm. It's apples, though. Mm -hmm. It is. You don't believe me? Do you? Mm -hmm. it, tastes, it tastes like an apple. Mm -hmm. Let I, me show you I, it's I, an I, apple. I, if I answer you put it in there, I'm not going to believe you. It's an apple. I'll show you. It's an apple. They eat that. They eating them apples. So how did it taste? Oh, the food was good. Mm, okay, that's all they want to know. Oh yeah, the food was good. I ain't, but I ain't, I ain't, I ain't doing the apples. I <laughs> ate it one time. I don't know, but you could have told me to eat it with the meat first. I'm eating the meat and with the potatoes. I don't know nothing about no apples. <laughs> But was it bad or was it good? I taste some sweet stuff in there. Did you like it? You think it's, it's a good hard one? to cook some? How are you gonna cook apples in some <clears throat> potatoes? But yeah, it's a pork chop. Who does that? That's what you do. Pork pork is good with apples. I done did it before, mm -hmm. but this is my second time doing it. But this was different. Yeah, I don't know who told you that, but that's not good together. Yes, it is. To me, mm -hmm. it is. You don't like it. Mm -hmm. You don't like the apples. Mm -hmm. Is it because it's a yeah, yeah, it, it, it's cooked, cooked apples. Who knows? Who? What you what you think apples is when you eat them at pies and stuff? I got some. I don't know. Don't, I ain't got, it ain't no curry pie. It's sweet. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, whatever season you got, that ain't that that kind of pie. I'm just it's saying. Sweet with some dough on it. Yeah, but it's still good. I'm sorry. To me, it was good. To each of the own. food, the food was good. I knew it was good. I just don't know about them apples in them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. If no, you would have no. known, if you would have known it was apples, that would have made a difference. If you would have told me beforehand. Uh, but since, but since you got a taste of it, the texture yeah, was different. Yeah, the taste was way different. I'm like, what the hell? This ain't no potato. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Mm -hmm. It was good to me though, y'all. I wonder, I wonder when you were going to tell me what it was. It was good to me, though. It was, you, you see, it was good to him, but he did leave some apples out. Yeah. You want them damn apples? I mean, you got to make sure it's apple first. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to eat no potato, though. Yeah. No apples, that flavor was on point, though. If you... To me, the flavor was on point. It was A plus to me. Oh. I just I liked it, the sweet and the savory together. It was good. Oh, who told you? <laughs> you just gotta try yourself. If you ever had pork with apples, you know what I'm talking about. It's good. So yeah, that's it, y'all. I just want to come back and let y'all see their reaction because I knew he was gonna be act funny towards it. What it gonna be? What? I think it'll be mayonnaise or anything, and I don't know what it'll be. 
Hey, you got my little camera in jail, got my chest out. Man. Food be food be good though. Well, Whether well, mayonnaise see, in it or not. Well, you might see me think I'm Michael Jackson pass out. <laughs> On that note, I'm out.